Hi there, this is Skippy from On The Fly Photography. I'm going to show you a few things in Lightroom that will help you to manage your catalogs and manage your presets and also back up your presets and allow you to transfer your presets from one computer to another which can be really handy if you have Lightroom on multiple computers like I do. You don't want to have to go through and set everything up on each computer. You can transfer your settings from one computer to another pretty easily. So the first thing you want to do to make all of this nice and easy for you is go to someplace convenient. I'm going to use the desktop and create yourself a folder, which I'm going to call Lightroom Shortcuts. You can call your folder whatever you want to call it, whatever works for you. You can put it wherever you want to put it that works for you. Now go into Lightroom and we want to go to Edit and Preferences and we want to find presets folder. So in preferences go to your presets tab and go to show Lightroom presets folder and click on that. That's going to show you where your Lightroom presets are held. We go into that folder we see that there's all these folders these are holding the presets you've created for Lightroom. For example all of your developed presets are in this folder right here. So let's pop back up where Lightroom go. There it is. Now we want to create a shortcut for that. So I'm going to send that to my desktop. Create a shortcut. We can close that. We can cancel out of there. Minimize Lightroom. So now let me open up my shortcuts folder. Now I have this. I'm going to drag it, put it in here. And I'm going to rename that Lightroom presets. Bump back to Lightroom, go down to your catalog settings. Now over here, in their general, you're going to see the location for your catalogs. The same thing, we're going to hit show. And if we go into there, we're going to see these are where my Lightroom catalogs are stored. We can see right now that Lightroom 3 is open, and that's why there's the Lightroom 3 catalog file which in my case is two gigabytes, which is huge. We'll come to that in a minute. And then there's the lock file and the journal file, which you will see whenever Lightroom is open. When I close Lightroom, those two are going to go away. And these are my previews folders. Those are holding my previews. So come back up here, this folder. We are going to do the same thing here. We're going to send this to the desktop to create a shortcut. We can now exit out of there, we can cancel that, we can minimize Lightroom. This is we're gonna drag this in here, and it's also called Lightroom. We're gonna rename that to Lightroom Catalogs. Now the next short we want to create is for the backups. Now Lightroom by default is going to put your backups of your catalogs in the same folder as the catalogs. So that would be this folder right here. There's not necessarily anything wrong with that, but if you are using Lightroom on a desktop computer where you have multiple hard drives, it makes better sense to put your backups on a different hard drive. Because if your, your, your main catalog, or in my case, my main catalog is stored on my C drive, so if my backups are also on my C drive, if my C drive dies, well then I've lost my catalog and my backups so my backups didn't do me very much good so what you sh should do if you have a second drive available is set your backups to a different drive now the only way I know of to set the location for your backups is when you actually exit Lightroom alright so first of all let me show you this you should catalog settings go to your catalog settings backup catalog. In my opinion you should set this for every time Lightroom exits. You're, you have assorted options. I go with every time Lightroom exits and I do that because if you don't want to back up the catalog when exiting you can always skip it but this way you always get the option. So when we go to exit it's going to show me here where my backup folder is. Now like I said naturally it's going to default to the same folder as your catalog you change that by hitting choose right here and you just select where you want to put it if you want to make a new folder whatever you hit OK and that's going to give that to you and then 
you have the options to test integrity and optimize. I suggest you do both of those every now and then. And so you would hit backup and it would do the backup. If you don't want to do the backup, all you have to do is hit skip this time. So at this point, choose your backup folder. Put your backup folder. If you don't want it in the default location, put it to where you want it. In my case, it's on my D drive in Lightroom backups and Lightroom catalog backups. And that's, so we need to know where that is because there's not a way to create a shortcut easily. So we've got to go find that. So find out where your backup folder is at. And then you're going to have to go there. We've got to do this one the harder way. Lightroom backup, Lightroom catalog backups. And again, I am going to create a shortcut on my desktop. And there it is, my Lightroom shortcuts and my Lightroom catalog backups. So now I have three shortcuts easily available to me. My presets, my catalog backups, and my Lightroom catalogs. So when I go into this one, this allows me to easily see my current catalog. And if I need to copy my catalog someplace else manually, it's right there. I can grab it. I can do that. That gives me easy, convenient access to that. Lightroom, let's do the pre backups. Lightroom catalog backups. When I go into this, I'm going to see these are all the backups that Lightroom has created for me. Now, the great thing about Lightroom is it creates your backup, it names the folder by the date and the time, so you can sort by file name, you know, and easily see which is your most recent, everything else. The bad thing about this is that it never cleans these up for you. So these are going to pile up over time. And in my case, since my catalog is almost two gigabytes in size. Every one of these is huge. I mean, that's 1.94 gigs. That's another 1.94 gigs. So every once in a while, you need to go into your catalog backup folder and clean these old ones out. So I'm just going to select all those. I'm going to delete them. That's 10 items. So I just freed up 20 gigabytes worth of disk space right there. So go in every once in a while and clean that out. Now, Lightroom presets. Here we have a shortcut to our, the Lightroom presets folder. All of this stuff here, these are all of your Lightroom settings. These are your develop presets, uh, these are your export presets, your keyword sets, your metadata presets, your preferences, your watermarks, custom web galleries you've created. All the stuff that you have customized is right here in these files. So what you can do is simply select all of this stuff, copy this, and then paste it to a different location, say on a different hard drive or on your Dropbox or whatever. And this is going to back up all of your settings. So if this hard drive crashes, and I've got these backed up, I can reinstall Lightroom. I can go to the same directory in my new installation of Lightroom, which in this case is under Skippy, under Adobe, and then down under Lightroom right there. And I can take all this information, all of these folders that I saved from my old installation, copy them into my new installation, and everything is going to be just the way it was before. You can also use this to transfer your settings from one computer to another. I will uh, periodically copy all of these, put them into my Dropbox account, and then when I boot up my laptops, I can copy all of these out of my Dropbox into onto the new computer into the Lightroom's preset folder and all of my presets, all of my metadata, everything is transferred over and it's there and available for me. So those are some really easy things you can do. Set that up. That will allow you to keep track of your catalog backups. Make sure you're not clogging up disk space and that will allow you to back up your presets, all of your metadata, all of this other stuff because it takes a long time. You know, you've developed these things. I have hundreds of presets I don't want to lose all of this stuff. As time goes by, you're going to create your own presets and everything. You don't want to lose it either. This way, it's going to be available to you whenever you need it. You're going to be able to back it up and safeguard your information. Enjoy.